Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. So again, just remember guys that these are general readings, so just kind of take whatever resonates with you. I'm going to try to tap into whatever, whoever spirit wants to communicate with. Um, but I'll try to tap into as many energies as possible for sure. And then um, just wanted to say really quickly, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. I really appreciate you guys being here. And um, I had a couple of people asking about donations. So I've got my donation information down below if you guys are wanting to do that. Thank you guys. And also, if you're wanting to book a personal one-on-one -on reading, one -on -one reading, my information is, again, down below in the box as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Aquarius. Patience. Oh, I know you guys will love that. <laughs> So it's Archangel Jophiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So yeah, Aquarius, if you're feeling a little bit of frustration because things aren't quite going as quickly as you would like, this is actually an awesome information. It's that kind of like whatever you've been putting your work and dedication into it is starting to bloom, okay? Just keep focusing on that. Don't focus on, oh, like, why isn't it here? Or especially if you're doing something and you're looking around at others that are maybe further down the path than you, that they've gotten more success in some way, shape, or form, don't even pay attention to that. Celebrate your small victories. Look at the progress you've made so far. Like, especially when you look past the, look at the past year, like how much you've grown, how much you've learned, that will help you to turn your focus back on yourself and see how much you've really truly accomplished. And then that will keep you in that higher vibration. Okay. It's just really about like looking at the fact that everything really is happening for you. So I'm going to take this one out of the gate. Okay. Actually, so I've got ace of wands and then six of wands. Okay. I definitely wanted to take those two so I can see Aquarius. Here's this new beginning and you being extremely victorious, okay? Um, I'm going to pull out a couple of other, like, general cards because I want to clarify this patience energy a little bit more just to see if this is about work or is this about a relationship because especially this Ace of Cups, this could be about a relationship. So I'm just going to see and clarify a little bit more what this patience card means okay I'm actually feeling that one yep so we've got the nine of pentacles so i'm definitely absolutely positively going to say this is about work and this is about some type of to me this is my entrepreneur card okay this is about using um your gifts and abilities to make money at whatever whatever you want to do but it's about you getting a lot of abundance from that but again it's kind of mirroring this patience card it's it's about the fruits of your labor accomplishment fortitude like really being patient at something putting your perseverance at it so but i definitely want to say that this is in some way shape or form with some material thing because it's the pentacles right it's about the material world so this could e either be about a new home this could be about how you make money anything material aquarius this to me is you this is queen of swords it's air energy so again th to me it's you could also be like gemini or libra but to me this is the transformation right here like, this is you stepping into your power. I feel like, Aquarius, you've been... Oh, I love this combination. Okay, before I speak and say anything else, I'm just going to pull one more clarifier card because I'm having so much come up with this. So hold on really quick, okay? Okay, let me pull just one more clarifier spirit. Ooh, yeah. Okay, yes. Love this. Perfect. Okay, this is what I was wondering was coming up. Aquarius. So 
it looks like there's been some definite profound changes, some really big transformations in your life, maybe a metamorphosis. There's been like a destruction, like maybe, like I've said in all of my past readings, the past couple weeks, there's been a lot of big shifts going on with the eclipses and the moons coming up. So it really closed out a lot of these chapters in our life, okay? And I feel like Aquarius, for you, that has been big time. So, ooh. Sorry, I didn't even notice that was covering. So, Aquarius, this is you. I feel like you have had to cut out a lot of things, people, things like that in your situation. You have been cutting things out because you've been deciding to choose you, okay? And the thing that I love about this Queen of Swords, I always point this out, is this butterfly on her back. You have been through a transformation yourself. That's exactly why I was saying, look at the past year and how much you have grown. Oh my freaking gosh, you have completely transformed. I think before maybe you were like putting your emotions a lot into things. Like maybe there were people even that you were giving your emotions to much more than they were giving back. And now the queen of swords, I freaking love her because she has boundaries. Okay. To me, she is a transformation from the queen of cups, which is more of like the empath energy. The queen of swords is kind of like the cold, hard face of wisdom. She has learned not to let people take advantage of her and her energy. She's learned how to look at logic and reason and use wisdom when it comes to people in her relationships. And she's learned to cut people out and put her boundaries up. So, oh, I love this. Okay, Aquarius, yes, I love you guys so much. Like, so here's the three of wands, okay? So this is about like, this is kind of like my independence card too, okay? Um but it's like waiting for your ships to dock, okay? It's it's like you're looking out at all these opportunities. There could also be some partnership in this, okay? But it's also being independent in your own passion and maybe collaborating and, and partnering up with other people, okay? But it's about like you're looking out at opportunities and what you can do to keep like, maybe if it is a business you're working on, because I'm definitely sensing that with the nine of pentacles right here. It's that you're looking out for things that you could be passionate about, looking out for different opportunities. And this is absolutely too my law of attraction card. So you're like waiting for your ships to dock, okay? You're waiting for things to line up so that you can just like jump into this new venture. And so again, let's, let's jump down to this energy. I want to finish this out. I just had to clarify that a little bit more. This makes so much more sense. Aquarius. Here's Ace of Cups, okay? This Ace of Cups, I love this card too. This is new love, new intuition. This could be a new relationship, but to me, this card is all about self-love. Self-love, big time. And going along with that Queen of Swords, that is what the Queen of Swords completely embodies. That's why she puts up boundaries, because she's learned self-love. So Aquarius, this is you deciding to put your emotions first, your needs, in a loving way. It's not like you're turning into some selfish jerk. It's that you've learned that not everyone has good intentions in your existence, and you need to just take care of your emotions first and foremost. Whatever makes you happy, that's what you need to do. And this is what has made you victorious. That's why angels are saying up here, spirit is saying, your dreams are, they're manifesting really rapidly, more than you realize. You just need to keep nurturing them because you are coming out victorious from this chapter that you've closed out in your life. Big time, Aquarius. Yes, yes, I'm loving this freaking energy for you guys. So let's see what else comes up. I'm seeing that one. Interesting. Pisces got the same freaking card. So here's you pulling out of a situation where maybe you felt stuck. Again, I think it's completely correlating with this death card. Because I think Aquarius, maybe you've been in some relationships where you felt stuck. And maybe you are still feeling a little bit of that energy. And that's why Spirit is saying just have a little bit more patience because things are unfolding. But again, you've got to line up with that energy. But again, I love that it's coming out upside down because you are pulling out of that energy. The more that you love yourself and you're focusing your attention on what you need, then 
it's going to keep helping you feel unstuck, okay? Like, as unclear as that might sound, but the more you just love yourself and do whatever you need to do, whatever it is you need to show yourself self-love, Aquarius, if you need to change your diet, if you need to exercise more, oh, I love this. Queen of Pentacles popping out, okay? You're tapping into some major queen energy, Aquarius. You've got Queen of Swords, you put boundaries up. This is Queen of Pentacles where, again, you're making money. Like, I really do feel like this is whatever you've been working at, but you're, it, this doesn't have to be you. It's whether you're male or female, you're really tapping into setting up boundaries and having self-love. And this is where I can see you being very grounded, stable, um, being really good at material wealth and material wealth coming to you. Oh my gosh, this reading could seriously not get better. Well, it could. Here's Four of Wands. So this is my celebration card. Like, this is about stability. This is about, like, coming together and celebrating with other people. This sometimes could mean marriage, okay? So this could either be marrying another person, or it could be that you are falling in love with whatever it is you're doing, Aquarius, and you're, like, kind of marrying yourself because you've completely fallen in love with whatever it is that you're doing and you're showing yourself so much self-love that that's the energy and the vibration that you're putting out there. The more that you're focusing on that, just keep directing your attention at what you need to do to take care of you, Aquarius, because this is freaking phenomenal. Like <laughs> six of wands and four of wands, you're coming out victorious and here's your celebration right here. I freaking love that. So let's just pull a little bit more clarifiers on the other side of this energy. I feel like this is kind of going to be what is coming up. Let's cut the deck. Okay, Seven of Wands. Um, with this one, Aquarius, I feel like, again, this is kind of the situation that you've been pulling out of. I love this card, okay? Like, um, people say that it's like the negative card but again I love that it's upside down because this is Aquarius that you've been in some conflict and this is maybe that you've been a little bit defensive okay see how this fox right here is like defending its its young okay this is about you defending your inner child but the thing again that I love about this card is that this situation whoever these relationships that you've been involved with where there's been conflict Maybe someone you've been, like, giving your energy to more than you've been getting anything back. You learn to put up boundaries. <laughs> Again, like, I cannot emphasize that enough. That's the positive thing that's come out of this. Now, the thing you have to realize, though, is on the other side of this energy, here's all this goodness coming into you, Aquarius, okay? Everything's going really good. And I know that... When we move into new chapters of our life, sometimes we can still be a little guarded, okay? So you might still have your guard up a little bit when it comes to relationships and people around you because you're like, who can I trust? And, you know, you're still kind of on edge, like, because you've been burned quite a bit from whatever relationships that you've had to cut out of your life. So Aquarius, this is about you just kind of keeping a check on that because that energy is done. Here's the death card. Like the chapter is ended. Death, it's done. You cut it out and here's your new beginning. Like you, here's your start of something new. Okay. So you've got to let go of that energy and really leave it all behind because it's going to be the thing that could, when you keep replaying old relationships and situations in your head over and over you can actually keep recreating them in your reality this is why we experience fears our fears can completely come true so you gotta just kind of let go of that defensive energy aquarius because it, it will probably hinder you a little bit okay but here's my ten of pentacles okay i, I love that it's coming out right under the queen of pentacles this is about stability, like fulfillment, especially material fulfillment, okay? This is about you, like, if you've been, again, with working, like, I'm just seeing all this green energy all over in the cards. It's like, if you've been working really hard at some type of entrepreneurship, whatever you've been doing creatively, 
you are going to be having this chapter, this 10 close out where you're getting the things that you want. You're getting material fulfillment. I'm especially hearing. Okay. And then we've got the Ace of Cups again, again. I love this. Okay. Aquarius, here's your Eight of Swords where you're still feeling a little bit stuck in whatever situation you might be in. Here's your new beginning again. It's right here. It's literally on the other side of your thoughts. Here's this new fulfillment. Spirit is literally waiting to give it to you. Oh my gosh, this is seriously such a similar type of energy to Pisces. So there could be some type of connection there. If you've got Pisces in your moon or rising, you might want to check that one out because it's seriously reiterating the same exact message, okay? So Aquarius, here's your new beginning. Your emotional fulfillment is right here. I, I love all these combinations together. And we've got six of pentacles, okay? So there could be some generosity here. Oh, and interesting. So we've got six of wands and six of pentacles. I've got two sixes right on top of each other, okay? Sixes are about harmony in numerology. And it's about like maybe even being a counselor a little bit, Aquarius. I think that you're very knowledgeable whatever you've been through recently. So you might have some knowledge to share with other people. You might be a really good counselor. But this is some type of charity. So either you giving to other people your knowledge or some type of material wealth. And I love it on that it's kind of the opposite side of this energy. This is where you're having to protect yourself. You've had to put up boundaries because maybe someone's been deceptive or taken advantage of you. And here you are, Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles getting material fulfillment. Getting Because here your dreams are unfolding rapidly. Like more than you realize you just have to keep watering them now the thing that you always have to understand is when you get this material fulfillment it's just always good to give that energy out to people this is how you create that flow of abundance in your life is when you give when you decide to give 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 because you know you have so much to give then um that ke it keeps coming to you because you've opened up that floodgate of money or material fulfillment like joy in every way it just kind of comes in and comes out in this really beautiful flow so aquarius when you get this type of material fulfillment just kind of keep that in mind like be really generous either to other people or if people are trying to be generous with you like accept it graciously and then pay it forward you know keep that flow of energy going and and then i just wanted to pull out at the very last we've got the queen of swords again okay so yeah, Aquarius, like this is you all day long, putting up boundaries, being really logical and wise. You pulled out the Queen of Swords twice, Ace of Cups twice. I love that you pulled out the Queen of Pentacles. Like things are en things have ended. Just keep cutting things out. Whatever you know is not serving you. And especially, I love that it fell on this Ace of Cups. Whatever else you need to do to show yourself self love keep doing that Aquarius keep cutting things out really listen to your intuition because your intuition is telling you like hey maybe you need to cut out this food maybe you need to detox or cleanse to kind of like that card wanted to come out um this old energy might still kind of like be stored in the cells of your body and that's why I can see it coming up with this eight of swords like cleanse that out of you you can literally do that with water cleanses and stuff just cleanse out that old energy cut it out because here is all this new beginning waiting to come into you especially right here it's literally on the other side of your thoughts that are maybe keeping you stuck okay so very last card we've got angel therapy it's archangel Raphael. so give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens so aquarius it's, I'm especially putting it right above this Eight of Swords. So anything that you're still feeling stuck or worried about or burdened by, just give it to the universe. Every time it starts to come up, because you have to understand, like, when you start thinking worrisome thoughts, it creates cortisol, okay? And cortisol is, like, the freaking cause of every, it's It stems everything. Illnesses, diseases, it creates all these 
dramatic, terrible situations for us. So literally, when those thoughts start to come up, just give them to the universe and just kind of just surrender it, okay? Literally think of it just going off into the universe and start thinking different thoughts because here's your new beginning, okay? Like, I cannot emphasize that enough. The Ace of Cups came up twice. It's here. It's here for you, Aquarius. So yeah, I hope that helped. I hope that gave you guys so much clarity and guidance for the week coming up. And yeah, with that being said, those are your messages. And I will see you guys next week for your general weekly reading. Take care.